Hi everyone! Well, it's the 7th of April 2017 and today will be an April update on my collection. Well, it's regarding some tarantulas that have molted. So if you remember from the feeding video, some of the tarantulas that I featured were in heavy pre-molt. Now, today's a day where I'll record them actually molted and I just want to show you the colors. So I'm using my iPhone 6s again to test out the quality, but this time I actually am holding it in the proper format. Sorry guys, I just even know that uh, when I upload the video it came out in a really ridiculous format. So hopefully this will come out good. And I also changed the resolution to 4K, I'm not sure this will render out on YouTube as 4K, but it's better than nothing for now because I have to charge my battery for my uh, camera. So today's April update is regarding uh, Lana, my Bonatina papulatinensis uh, that she's currently molting right now. As you can see, I really don't want to disturb her much. But anyways, I just finished watering the tarantulas and I thought I should make another update for you guys. Uh, the Brachypelma bomi, the Mexican fireleg, is still in pre-molt. You can tell by her abdomen it's kind of dark, but I do want to show you some very interesting teas that have molted too. And this one too is going pre-molt. This is the new specimen I got from tangoswaps.com, the Brachypalma Anita. Now I believe it's B. Smithy. I want to show you how you can tell slings are in pre-molt. Well, just like the B. Bomi just before, you can see that... She has a nice big black bald spot, so her colors are going to pop when she molts. I don't know when, but hopefully by this weekend. It's pretty cool. All right, now for the tarantulas that have molted. And I actually wrote them down. Actually, two or three of them kind of surprised me. I knew two of those ones in that list were going to molt. So let's get started. Uh, this one here is Holly. She is my Formictopus platus, which is the Caribbean silver bird eater. And I just wanted to show you uh, in crisp, clear format how beautiful this one is. Uh, she kind of looks like my Pieratus a little bit. You can see the visual color differences between the molted skin and the real spider. Wow, she's actually pretty cool. I'm not sure this is a female yet. I have suspicion that it could be, but I do need the molt to check it. But wow, 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 she's pretty. Or he or she. Whichever. Panf uh, Ferentipus are a pretty cool genus to spawn from hell. Uh, next one up is... Uh, my sexed male. Uh, Cerico Palma species Santa Catalina, which is the Santa Catalina bird eater. Uh, he is an immature male. He's not mature yet. But the colors on him are just drop dead gorgeous. I love this. Very, very cool. And I really didn't actually know that he would molt, so he was kind of a surprising one to see. Female has not molted yet, so hopefully uh, when he and both of them mature, I'm going to be breeding them. All right, next one up is uh, Pocotheria tigrina wasseli, the Wessel Tiger Ornamental. This is my smaller one. <laughs> it's so hard to take a video. AKA Speedy Gonzalez. Come on, focus. It's not focusing that well. But another nuss, a pretty cool specimen. I think right now she's about two inches. Suspect female just by looking at the colors, but I'd rather wait until uh, 
this one gets a little bit bigger before I can actually tell. Alrighty, next one up is Bracapalma Smithy uh, Mexican Red Knee. Uh, this is the female that I got from TanglesandWebs.com. As you can see, the colors are absolutely remarkable. Uh, she probably grew about a quarter of an inch. She's not that big, but this one is a confirmed female. Very, very beautiful and eye-catching. She's kind of like candy corn. Very nice. I love it. I just love these smithies. Okay, next one up. Therifosa apophysis, which is the pink foot goliath bird eater. Another awesome species. I'm probably going to be rehousing this one. Uh, I would say around the three inch mark from the looks of it. You can see the pink foot pink feet on the eight legs, which gives it an indication that this is a T. apophysis. I love that one. That's a nice one. Yeah, the only one I don't have is a T. blondie, and T. blondies over here in Canada are just so rare to find, and they're expensive too. Uh, I think Tarantula Canada at the time had them for like 350 which is a little bit pricey uh, for kind of like a stormy with more hair. But this is the one that actually really caught me off guard. Uh, this one here is the Israeli black or gold tarantula that I like to call it because it's very hard to tell uh, the colors of this one when, it, when they're molting and when they're not. Uh, so this is a Chytopelma oliviceum, which is, I believe it's called the Israeli black. And this one is kind of upsetting to me because uh, this guy is a, if you can look at the pedipalps, they're swollen. Uh-oh. So this indicates that he is a mature male. And he's actually a, a small male. Um, he's about two inches. Uh, Chidopalmas are a door species, so they don't really get that big. Um, probably the females will get like three, three and a half inches. Uh, this guy is probably around two inches. So, uh, you can see that he just freshly molted, uh, in the right light. He actually appears to be grayish blue, but that's just the camera light giving the appearance, but you can see his tibial hooks. So yeah, he's a mature male, uh, which sucks though, because I don't have a mature female. So I'm going to email Tarantula Canada to see if they have one that they are willing to breed uh, with this fantastic male. Oh wow, you can actually look at him. Wow, he's actually purple. Very, very exciting. All right, guys, so I just wanted to share you this uh, video of my tarantulas that have molted and still we're waiting on the M meso molast molt. So, guys, I want to thank you for enjoying the video. I hope you like it. Uh, subscribe and be seeing you. So, hopefully, tomorrow, yeah, by, by tomorrow, I should be able to record uh, the rehouse video. Uh, which one was it again? I think it was the Kilobrachy species Kang Kratchen. Uh, that one is getting a six liter shoebox enclosure. Uh, the female uh, Trinidad Chevron, Samopoas Cambridgei, that's getting a Rubbermaid deli container and uh, a deli, nice size deli cup for the Formictopus species Full Green. All right, guys, so thanks for watching and hope you enjoy it. See you.